Hello Tomodachi, this is Ken and welcome to my channel. Kung bago kayo, welcome and hope you will enjoy this vlog. Subscribe na rin kayo to help me grow my channel. For today's video, me and my wife will be sharing with you our journey on getting our first multiple entry visa. Let's go! Let's go. Just to give you a quick background, this is our fifth time applying for a visa kasi lahat ng visa namin before ay single entry. Ang first and second visa namin is visiting relatives since ang papa ko ang nag for both of us. After that, we decided to get a tourist visa and we aim for a multiple entry para we can go back sa Japan and we can travel anytime we want. So ayun nga, yung first and second try namin, inagrant lang kami ng single entry. But blessing pa din siya kasi we never experienced na madina yung application namin. We also want to mention na starting June 10, if you are Philippine national with considerable financial capacity, may bagong category for you. Ito ang mga list of requirements you need to submit. Bear in mind that embassy will be the one na mag-examine and determine kung paso kayo sa category na to. We hope na this video will help and guide you especially if you're applying for for a tourist visa. If you also want us to share kung paano mag-apply for a visiting relatives visa, comment down below para we can also do a video for that next time. So ano nga ba ang mga agency na kinuha namin for uh, applying for a visa? Uh, US Ryang Agency and we applied through their Visa Center app. So they have a mobile app you can download. Meron din silang website online. And also USHI is one of the accredited agencies ng Japan Embassy. Make sure guys na sa accredited lang kayo mag apply para sigurado na legitimate ang application at visa nyo. So here are the list of accredited agencies. As you can see, they have address and contact number available sa website ng Japan Embassy. FYI din pala guys, our agency before ay Relators MOA for our visiting relatives and Relators South Mall naman sa tourist visa namin with single entry. Wala kami naging problem sa agency na yun but we both decided uh, to try other agency and tama naging decision namin since, since we both got approved for multiple entry, uh, entry visa. We also got a lot of information and suggestion from uh, Japan for Dummies Japan sa for FB dummies. group nila. Yep. Disclaimer lang guys, meron kami ni Freya ditong cheat sheet to make sure na yung information na ibibigay namin ni kompleto. Yeah, so pahapapapansin nyo pa, um, patingin-tingin kami sa ibang ano kasi we are reading from our laptop as we can ensure that all information are provided in this video. Correct. And we will now discuss kung ano-ano ang mga requirements to apply for a visa. Number one is your passport, syempre. Make sure na valid yung passport nyo and if 6 months na lang before mag-expire, you will need to renew it para ma-sure na ma-approve kayo and i-allow kayo ng immigration na makalis ng bansa. Yes, and also if you have your old passport na may Japan visa, make sure to submit it together with your current passport since nare-request din siya ng agency to submit. This also can help your approval at makikita rin kasi siya ng agency na you've been to Japan before, especially sa case namin na we're applying for frequent traveler. Second requirement is the application form. Since sa UHI na kami nag-apply, we provide all the necessary information through the app then, si UHI mismo mag-email sa amin ng application form already filled out with our information. So, nag-print na lang kami and sign it. If di kayo sa UHI mag apply we also recommend na i-fill out nyo na lang siya through your computer. Then, print it out and sign it as well. Malaking tulong din to guys para iwas error or erasures. So, ito yung example application form namin guys. Makikita nyo sa application form, I need yung mag-submit ng facial photo with size na 4.5 by 3.5 cm and i-digit nyo siya sa form nyo once you submit it sa agency. Ginagawa din pala namin guys, isinusulat ko yung name namin sa likod ng photo namin para in case matanggal siya, alam ng embassy kung sino yung may-ari ng photo na yun. Nagpunta lang kami sa photo studio sa SM and requested na for Japan visa and alam na rin nila yun. You can also tell them the size you need para sigurado. Make sure din pala guys na dapat presentable lang ka tayo when taking a photo. 
That's right. So, next requirement is the multiple entry visa form. Make sure na tick the box na applicable sa inyo if you are not sure. Then, also, you can ask the agency for assistance. So, for us, ang chinect namin is yung frequent traveler to Japan. Then, at the bottom of the page, you will also provide your reason bakit nyo nga need ng multiple entry visa. Then, again, make sure to sign your name. Sa mga date ng form, Make sure to put the date kung kailan nyo isasubmit ang mga documents nyo sa agency. So, let's say October 3, yun siya dadalhin sa agency or ipapadala through courier, then yun ang date na ilalagay nyo. So, sa pagpapadala ng documents nyo, you have the option na kayo mismo yung pumunta ng agency or ipapadala nyo siya through LBC or Lalamove. So, sa case namin ni Ken, pinadala ko siya through Lalamove. Kaya very easy lang siya. So, di na kami nagpunta ng agency. But the only time na nagpunta kami sa UHI is for pickup na ng passport yep. namin. Next requirement naman guys is original copy of marriage certificate and must be issued within the year. Malalaman din naman guys kung more than a year na siya sa barcode sa baba or bottom of the paper. So need nyo talaga kumuha if wala kayong bagong certificate. We also submitted this since ako ang nag kay Freya since we decided na yung bank ko ang gagamitin for our bank certificate. Which is also a requirement. Uh, but before we proceed sa bank certificate, if you are not married or mother or father nyo yung magagarantor sa inyo, then what you need to submit is original copy of birth certificate. If friend naman ang magagarantor sa inyo, I believe na you need to submit a photo na kasama sila as proof. You can also inquire sa agency to make sure. Um, you just you, um, need to show proof of relationship sa guarantor nyo. If kayo naman yung magpa-finance um, ng travel nyo and you've been to Japan before, you do not need to submit ano na, birth certificate unless na lang first time nyo pumunta. Yes, and if hindi readable yung sinabmit yung marriage or birth certificate, guys sa case namin, you will need to submit the certificate issued by local civil registrar. Photocopy lang ang need nila guys. We will also show here additional requirements needed for late registration naman ng birth certificate. And just to add, para hindi kayo makonfuse guys, kung magkasubmit nga kayo nung um, copy from local civil registrar, you will still need to submit your marriage or uh, birth certificate. Pero original copy yung sa marriage or, or birth certificate. So next one naman is itinerary. So very simple lang naman yung ginawa namin. And this is our sample itinerary just to give you an idea. So, makikita nyo na di ko na in-include lahat ng pupuntahan namin, basta yung mga pinaka-importante lang talaga. Di nyo din guys, need soon din to lahat once makapunta na kayo ng Japan, since depende pa din yan sa time, budget, and weather. We also recommend na wag nyo i-full ang schedule nyo, since nakakapagod siya, and di siya talaga realistic. But still, at the end of the day, depende rin talaga sa inyo. As mentioned guys, we also submitted bank certificate. So, you can get this from your, of course, your bank. Yung balance nyo must within the last 6 months including the ADB or average daily balance. If last 6 months ay de-indicated, then you need to submit a bank statement to prove transactions within the last 6 months. Sa case namin ni Freya, since ako yung guarantor, isang certificate lang yung sinabit namin. So next requirement is tax payment certificate. So in our case, since private employed si Ken, he requested ITR or yung form 2316 sa employer niya. So, if business owner, owner naman kayo or freelancer, then you can submit your proof of actual payment of tax. If employed din kayo by a company, uh, you will also submit employment of certificate. And sa certificate, must include yung position nyo, magkano yung salary nyo, yung tenure nyo, or gano na kayo katagal sa company, which you can request sa HR nyo. So, papakita ko na lang sa inyo iba-ibang klaseng tax form na pwede nyo isubmit depende na lang din sa kung anong trabaho nyo or paano kayo kumikita ng pera and paano kayo nagbabayad ng tax. To add guys, yung ITR nyo must be issued within the same calendar year na nag-apply kayo. If you do not have an updated certificate, then you can submit a cover letter. Sa case naman namin, updated naman, Pero, nag-submit pa rin din kami ng cover letter. Yes, that's correct. Um, kaya kami nag-submit ng cover letter, though hindi siya required guys ha, because we want to provide more detailed explanation why we need multiple entry visa. As mentioned pala kanina, may multiple entry visa form. May, mayroon din nun box na pwede kayo maglagay. Pero, for us kasi, parang masyado siyang maliit. Mm -hmm. And, mas gusto namin na mag-provide pa ng explanation. 
and syempre this is our third time applying um, and we felt na baka mas makatulong siya. Mm. We also include din na we want to travel to different prefectures and we love Japan. Lalo na kasi we are both anime lovers. So yes. we also collect action figures. Siguro nakita nyo naman sa mga previous vlogs ni Ken. And yun, kaya gusto namin magbalik-balik din sa Japan. So ayun, we recommend na i-indicate nyo talaga kung bakit nyo gusto ng multiple entry or visa in general. Lalo na kung yun nga, wala rin kayong ITR na mapapakita sa embassy. Next requirement naman guys is letter of guarantee. Magpapasa lang kayo nito guys if may guarantor kayo or may mag-finance ang travel nyo. Gaya ng sami ni Freya. So ito yung sample letter. FYI din pala guys, if wala kayong info na malalagay sa lahat ng forms nyo like this one, an application form and multiple entry form, make sure to write NA. Di siya pwedeng blank lang and sasabihin din siya ng agency nyo. So guys, ayun, na-discuss na namin lahat ng requirements that you need to submit for tourist and multiple entry visa. But meron kaming two other documents na sinubmit. This is not required and you need to ask the agency if you can submit it before kayo mag-request. So, ito ang credit card statement and vol statement from our insurance. So, UHI allowed us to submit those documents and we think na nakatulong siya for approval ng visa namin. Not all agency allow those kind of documents. Guys, like yung relators, di kami pinayagan since di daw allowed but you can talk to your agency na rin para sure and the sayang effort. For credit card statement, we submitted the document showing our credit limit and amount ng VUL namin or yung VUL. We think na nakatulong siya showing our financial capacity. So, if you are wondering, magkano ba dapat ang laman ng bank nyo? So, based on our research, ang rule of thumb is 10K per day per head. So, if you are planning to stay in Japan for 5 days, so, you must have a minimum of 50k sa bank nyo. And of course, dapat mas mataas laging amount ang, sa number of stay nyo to make sure na ma-approve kayo. And syempre guys, yan isa sa mga tinitignan ng embassy kung kaya natin i-finance ang travel natin. But we really don't know ano ang criteria nila, di ba? To confirm if pwede kayong i-approve. Pero ang important is you submit all the necessary documents na requested nila. Yes, and guys, make sure pala na you print all the documents sa A4 size paper. Pwede nyo naman siyang i-request sa printing shop na pupuntahan nyo. But for the original documents such as marriage certificates, di na siya need ng ano, uh, naka A4 or di nyo siya need ay pa-photocopy. You must also sign all the documents na need ng signature. Bawal yung e-signature guys ha. Make sure na hindi siya naka e-signature. Kasi nire-remind rin naman kayo ng embassy or rather ng agency. And pag nagsabit kasi kayo ng naka e-signature, possible na ipasabihan na naman kayo magpasa ng magpasa another. Ng bago. Oo, mm -hmm. so hassle din siya guys. So yes. make sure na tama lahat ng documents nyo. So ilang days ba ang pag apply ng visa? So based on our experience, within 5 days may visa na kagad kami. But with UHI, ito ang timeline namin. July 25, we created and paid for our visa application. Same day din for assessment kami. And we also uploaded all the necessary documents. And from July 29 to 30 naman, we also upload yung mga supporting documents namin after ko ma um confirm sa agency na pwede siyang i-submit. Yun nga yung credit card statement saka full uh, statement. Then by August 1, for reassessment na kami. Tumawag din sila sa amin to make sure na tama lahat ng documents namin. Then August 2 guys, sinada namin yung documents namin via Lalamove. And August 5, na-file na siya sa embassy. Yun yung naging parang update via the application. Then August 8, we received an email sa UHI saying na na-ready for pickup na yung passport namin. And yun nga, August 9, na-pick up na namin siya. So, mapapansin nyo, medyo mahaba talaga yung timeline. And um, naging cost of delay rin kasi ako dahil nga hindi ko na-submit right away yung mga documents na kailangan. So, we recommend na you prepared everything before mag-apply kayo. And we also had an issue kasi sa application when I tried uploading yung documents, naglolo ko siya. So, um, buti na lang tinawagan ako ni UHI and I requested if I can submit those documents via email. So, thankfully, pinayagan nila ako. Kaya, ayun, after nun, tuloy-tuloy naman na yung naging flow nung um, application namin. For pickup ng passport, guys, UHI will email you their schedule and that's from Monday to Friday. And open din sila every Saturdays. Just make sure na i-check yung email in case sa kanila kayo mag-a-apply. 
overall, okay na okay ang experience natin, di ba? Yes. And we will rate it, ilan? 9, 9 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10 for me. So, magkano nga ba ang binayad namin dito sa pag-apply namin ng visa? So, we only paid 500 pesos each since nagkaroon si UHI ng promo that time. And yung original price niya guys um, is 1,500 per head. So, talaga nakasulit kaming dalawa. You can also check yung FB page nila to check if may mga ongoing promotion sila. So, yun na rin siguro yung one of the reasons why we decided to go with UHI kasi nga, sayang yung promo kung di namin yes, ito take advantage. Sayang. So, that's it guys. We hope na nakatulong kami sa inyo and good luck sa yung visa application. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we will do our best to answer your questions. I will also show here ang ibang vlogs ko na pwede nyong panoorin while waiting for my future uploads. Thank you for your time and see you on my next vlog. Mata na eh! Multiple na eh! Multiple na! At wala lang video ko saan. Oo, hindi na. Dapat matamig ni Joan natin yung pagdating niya dito. Ayun na, multiple na guys. Patigil nga. Very good.